Hello and welcome to the first NodeGoat video tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to create a project in NodeGoat and how you can set up a simple data design. In the next video, you will see how you can enter data into your data design. Type in your login credentials to get started. You are now in your personal research domain. As you can see, the main menu consists of three options, data, management and design. In the data section, you work on your data. In management, you can manage your research domain and in design, you set up your data structure. In this video, we will cover the basics of management and design. In the next video, we will look at the data section. To start, you set up a project in your NodeGoat domain. To create a project, go to management. Then, click add project. In a project, you select which elements of your data design you want to use. As we haven't built a data design yet, you just fill in the name of your project. Later, we will come back here to link your project to your data design. For now, you only select the type city and leave all the other settings to their default values. Just to show the result of these steps, we briefly go to data. Here you see that you are in your newly created project and that the type city is available in this project. The type city is a shared type that can be used by all NodeGoat users. This type consists of objects of geocoded places across the world with a population above 5000. These places have been imported from GeoNames. They will help you to easily geocode data in your dataset. To start building your own data structure, you go to design. In NodeGoat, each object is part of a type. A type describes the characteristics of objects and how objects relate to other objects. So if you want to create a dataset of persons, you first have to create the type person. To do so, click on add type. To define this type, you first give it a name. You then click on the tab Object to specify how you want to describe each object in this type. You do this by means of object descriptions. We define four object descriptions. Family name. Given name. Bio and image. Per object description, you have a number of options you can specify. The most important option defines the kind of object description you want to use. There are various kind of object descriptions. Just plain data or relational descriptions. You can consult the NodeGoat frequently asked questions to see all options. We set family name to string, given name to string, bio we set to text, tags and layout, and image we set to media. Next, we can tick five boxes per object description. If you hover over these boxes, you see what their function is. For more information, you can consult the FAQ. In this case, we want to dynamically include family name and given name in the name of the object. This means that the static object name field now becomes obsolete. To be able to contextualize your objects in time and space, we also need to add subobjects. Click the tab Subobject. Here we add three subobjects. Birth place of residence and deceased. Both the birth and deceased subobjects will be unique and will use a date. The place of residence subobject is not unique and will use a period. And that's it. Click on save type.
We now have to connect this type to our project. Go to Management, Project and edit your project. We only need to select our newly created type person here and save the project. If we now go to Data, we see that the two types have become available. The share type city and your newly created type person. If you click the type and click add person, you see the object descriptions and sub-objects we've just created. In the next video, we will show you how you can enter data into NodeCode.